हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट एवोल्यूशन एंड एडेप्टेशन चैप्टर फोर सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो व्हाट इज एवोल्यूशन लेट्स सी द डेफिनेशन द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ्स विथ ऑर्गेन्स एंड ऑर्गेन सिस्टम्स हैव इवॉल्व्ड थ्रू मॉडिफिकेशन from simpler forms through ages is known as evolution so evolution means kind of modification from simpler form to the complex form we know at the um, starting of earth it was very hot and the temperature was so high that life could not exist on it gradually it becomes cool and attained a condition where life could exist so first it was in the simplest form and from that it continuously evolved continuously modified to the complex form so this is called the evolution so first we have to know what is the origin of life the body of all the living beings are made of very complex chemical substances the nucleoprotein only living beings can synthesize this nucleoprotein and can produce amino acid and nucleic acid nucleic acid means we know dna and rna these are the main thing the functional and structural unit of our life so from this nucleoprotein the living organisms can synthesize the amino acid and nucleic acid and in this way the life is originated so this box hot dilute soup this term is very important who proposed the term hot dilute soup jbs halden jbs halden called the hot sea water as hot dilute soup in the very ancient time the sea water is very hot and there are so many chemical substances is diluted in the sea water where the life is first originated this sea water is comp- was compared with the hot dilute soup by jbs halden there are two scientists opperin and halden they suggested that if the primitive atmosphere was reducing and if there was an appropriate supply of energy then a wide range of organic compounds might be synthesized this experiment was done by two more scientists miller and ure they see this picture they exper- uh, experiment they did this experiment in the laboratory what is the experiment see the picture the experiment used water methane ammonia and hydrogen the chemicals were all sealed inside a sterile 5 liter glass flask connected to a 500 ml flask half full of water see the picture this is a 5 liter glass flask connected to a 500 ml flask the water in the smaller flask were heated to induce evaporation and the water was allowed to enter the larger flask to enter the larger flask continuous electrical sparks here some electrical sparks are produced continuous electrical sparks were fired between the electrodes to st- uh, simulate the lightning in the water vapor and gaseous mixture this is the total system and there is a trap at the bottom there is a trap this is the total system uh, after one week of this system they can proved life is originated under this condition there are so many models to prove the origin of life like prebiotic model microsphere model quasarvet model all proves that life is originated under a certain condition there are some major evolutionary event origin of earth then origin of life in favorable environment then oxygen revolution 
then eukaryotic life okay first prokaryotic organisms are originated then eukaryotic life multicellularity that is first organisms are unicellular then multicellular cambrian explosion and finally the major habitat transition the invasion of land in this way step by step life is originated and one more thing the term evolution was first coined by herbert spencer the scientist herbert spencer next theory of organic evolution there are many theory uh, in support of organic evolution scientist charles darwin lamarck de vries proposed so many models in next class we will see the models thank you